Hi, this is Duncan Wilkie for Players Television. I'm here with unquestionably the UK's form man at the moment, Sam Trickett. Uh, Sam, where to begin? Huge uh, summer out in Vegas. I think you're the highest cashing Brit. Tell us about your experiences there. Yep, went really well. It was um, hard not to be disappointed, um, as well as grateful for the results. But um, I would like to have won a bracelet, I think. I would even took like a little bit less, less of prize money and, and, and got a bracelet. But um, it'll come. I'll just keep putting myself into them positions and uh, I'm sure I'll get a bracelet in the next few years. So. And of course you're one of uh, many UK players to record great success over in Vegas. So much so that they're kind of calling it the year of the Brit. Do you think that in turn has made it more intimidating for the Americans to come over here for WSOPE? I suppose, yeah. Definitely the standard of English players has gone up. We've got a lot of young good players now who are, um, are always annoying to play against and are going to be dangerous at the table. You don't really want them on your table. Um, a few years ago, like three or four years ago, we didn't really have that many, but um, I think online's a big part of it. A lot of players fresh out of uni playing online, good, good thinking brains on going into the game and a lot of time and effort, and, and the results are pulling through really. We've got a lot of, it's been a massive year really for English players, a lot of titles and a lot of big results, so looking good. And do you think that recognition has now spread beyond the UK and Europe and into America? Are people starting to take note of the names that are taking these bracelets down? Yeah, definitely. Just with myself, like had a, like some success around like the World Series over the last few years and like in England and stuff like that. But um, just myself personally, as I feel like I'm recognised a lot more to the Brits now than uh, to the Americans, sorry, than I was before. Like, seem like I'm on first name levels with pretty much every player on the circuit now, which is really nice. Um, and it's it, yeah, it's good to feel like you know I mean you're a part of uh, the, the top quality players. Sure. And then after that, of course, we've uh, just had the Party Poker World Open, which uh, you were triumphant in. How was that as an experience for you? Yeah, that was um, like a monkey off my back. So happy to get like a, a major title. Um, I played like really well in that uh, both my heats. I ran really good. Like I got every time I had a hand, someone had a slightly worse hand, and every time I was bluffing, they didn't have anything. And, Timing was really well. I think I've made good decisions and uh, couldn't have really asked for a better script than I went. Mm -hmm. And how do you approach that sort of shootout format, the TV format? Um, I approached it, I think, a little bit different than most people. Like previously, I'd approach it like I would have sit and go online, like play really tight, wait for the antis to go up, and then um, find my spots whether to call and shove. I'm pretty good at knowing when to call and when I should shove and when I should call in like a sit and go style. But I thought that. The field was really tough and then most of the players was going to be doing that, playing tight and loosening up when the blinds go up. So I just like tried to play quite loose early on and just like get a, a few chips and um, it worked out well. Both times I played really aggressive early on and built stacks. So I always have a stack throughout the set and go and it went well for me. And okay, obviously now we're back here in London for the uh, WSOPE. Uh, what events have you played in so far and what ones are you targeting over the next week? I'll basically be playing everything. Um, everything going. The only, the only event I haven't played was the 5k PLO which I'm kind of disappointed about because I'm quite strong in PLO. Not in PLO tournaments because I haven't played that many but I play lots of PLO online and I'm pretty decent at that PLO but I didn't play that because I had to, I'm just currently moving to London and I had to go sign for the flat and stuff like that, I didn't want to lose it so um, I had a busy day basically so I couldn't play it. Um, but I'll be playing the main event, I'll be playing like high rolls at the EPT, all the EPT and mainly every event that's uh, good value. And I know it's a question that always gets asked but how big an advantage is it being like on your home turf now as it were, now that you've got a flat in London, is that something that comes into your game? Uh, I don't know, the only thing that's going to help me is like, I'm going to play lots of live cash as well. And it'll be nice to like get used to playing with the players because sometimes I go down during the festivals and I quite I don't quite know how a guy plays and never played with him and never seen him in tournaments because he's like a cash player. So I'm looking forward to like playing with the same guys every day and, and getting my reads and getting uh, working out who, who plays what and I think I'm going to do really well in the cash games. Um, I've had a good good first few weeks while I've been here anyway. I'm up a lot. So like hopefully I'll just keep grinding them games and just following around the EPT circuit and stuff like that and get a bit more more success. Okay, and of course here you um, you get a lot of support from the rail. There's a big uh, UK contingent who tend to back each other and they can get quite vocal at times. How much of a boost is that for you when you're in a tournament? Yeah, it's really good. We like I think it comes from like the football background, We're, like almost like a football match. Sometimes the rail is an English uh, when an English guy's in the final. 
But um, yeah, it's good. You, like you feel like everyone wants you to win. You don't feel like anybody's jealous of your like results. You feel like all your friends are behind you, and we always are behind each other. We all want to see each other do well, and we talk, that's why we talk about hands to, with each other, discuss um, what we think about the hands, and just try and improve each other's game all the time. And I think that's one of the main reasons why we're doing so well lately, is because any marginal spot or tough decision we have, we're discussing it amongst a, a load of other good players and working out what the best play is and things like that. So um, I think that's one of the reasons why we've got so many titles this year. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully more successes can follow over the next few weeks. Yeah. Cheers for talking to us, Sam. Thank you.